what's going on y'all spot sports i'll back at it with another video and finally yes finally we've got a nba final series Cavs win game three in blowout fashion and the series is now two to one um so i'm just breaking down the game for you guys really lebron and Kyrie were the difference this game the leaders of the cavaliers they set the tone lebron james was assertive and aggressive from the tip got to the bucket whenever he wanted even had his jumper falling late finished with like 32 points 11 rebounds six assists typical lebron game right but forget the stats it was the aggressiveness and the assertiveness not only was he looking for his teammates like he usually does but he was assertive in getting to the cup Kyrie Irving though balled out 30 points he made every big shot possible early in the game he was the reason the Cavs opened up a large as large of a lead as they did and he really set the tone he was crossing everybody up he was just getting open and hitting jumpers left and right so Kyrie Irving that's the Kyrie Irving we've been looking for all series long and that Kyrie Irving wasn't the Kyrie Irving of game one and two then we have the x-factor J.R. Smith 20 points five three-pointers if J.R. Smith has his jumper going like that he can be huge in this series and obviously Kevin Love was out tonight so Richard Jefferson started look even if Kevin Love is back and cleared for game four there is no way in hell I am starting Kevin Love if I'm Tyron Lue he is coming off the bench because you are not messing up this rhythm you are not messing up this momentum that the Cavaliers all of a sudden got Richard Jefferson played his role to a T he got loose balls he got all the loose rebounds um, as soon as he got the ball, he either shot it or he passed it. He kept it moving. He was not a black hole on offense that let Kevin Love sometimes tends to be. And he was a much better defender than Kevin Love. Speaking of which, the Cavaliers' defense absolutely shut down the Splash Brothers and Draymond Green. Uh, I think Steph had like 15 points um, and then Clay had like 10. I think they all three combined for like 35, which is the lowest they've gotten. But can we speak on one thing for a second here? Steph Curry only had two points at half. If LeBron had two points at half, he would get maligned. He would get destroyed by the media. But Steph Curry, for some reason, gets a pass. Look, even if the Warriors win this series, and again, it's only 2-1, uh, it's one game, Steph Curry has not even been close to being the finals MVP. So now you're talking about the unanimous MVP, the two-time reigning defending MVP. And if the Warriors win the title again, he won't even be close to being the finals MVP. What does that tell you? So Steph Curry, I'm just saying, has not shown up in the finals now. It's been three games, still waiting on that. Um, but again, it was a blowout game. So it's all three games have been blowouts. And the series has been nuts. Going back to game four, I do think Cleveland does win that game again. I don't think it will be as big of a blowout. I do think they will win. It will be a much closer game. Let me know what you guys think. Um, what are the Cavaliers' chances in this series? I think, listen, it's going to be tied 2-2, and then the series will finally start. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.